Where do you see CAR T cell treatment being in five years? Do you think it's going to be replacing some of our standard treatment? Uh, uh, and, and then we can revisit the issue how we are going to make it better because I think that's important. But before that, do you envision in five years it is going to take over a lot of things we do? Predictions are very difficult, but uh, my, I'm an optimist as, as you are, I know. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that CAR T will move quite early, quickly early into early relapse setting. Um, and we need that because triple class uh, induction is coming. Mm -hmm. So triple class drug resistance is going to be more common in earlier mm -hmm. patient. It will come there first and I think it will quickly move into a space of especially high risk disease where it may be an induction followed by CAR-T followed by some form of post-CAR maintenance which finally might alter, you know, as you again very well know and you've pro shown the bad clones are, you know, CAR-T is an immune technique that works irrespective of the clonal situation, at least we think so right now. In terms of responses, it surely is. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so like you said earlier, to sort of sum up where we might go, um, we will use CAR-T cell. Uh, we will use it so that the responses are sustained. And so we will use it um, maybe given multiple times. Yeah maybe, or probably very surely, given with some sort of maintenance treatment right. kind of strategy, where we can keep the immunoactivation right. continue. Maybe select CAR T cells that have memory phenotypes, so on their own they will continue, so that and they can enrich them. Yeah. Or there is an ongoing thought that we may produce CAR T cell from immunized cells, so we can just vaccinate or give some immune stimulation to ex excite them. And then there are a lot of newer CAR T products being developed. Exactly. One of the things you mentioned earlier was about allogenic off-the-shelf CAR T cell. Yeah. And so we have to see its efficacy, but that's a good future. And then there are CAR T with dual targeting, two different antibody yes. targeting CAR T cells. Abstract here. Uh, yeah. And there are also CAR Ts where you could inject an tagged antibody yes. to monitor yeah. its function, etc. cetera. Um, and so I think there is a lot of um, enthusiasm and great prospect in, in on the horizon to almost myeloma making um, a chronic disease and or even cure the yeah, myeloma. Uh, yeah, Do I you think, share the same? Uh, I totally think uh, we have, I can now see where a majority of my patients are going to be MRD negative fairly early in the disease course before the clones have become advanced and evolved mm -hmm. and multiple you know, bad clones are present in the same patient. Before that situation, if we can pay, make a lot of patients MRD negative, I think some of those patients may end up being cured. And we need to keep the MRD negativity sustained, as you very well know and have shown. Sustained MRD negativity is perhaps more important than one-time MRD negativity. So I think with the new development in the PCMA-directed treatment, especially CAR-T cell, I think we have a very enthusiastic outlook and a very hopeful, optimistic, optimistic future for us. Okay. So I think it was great to discuss this uh, various uh, newer aspects with you, and thank you so very thank much. Thank you so much, Dr. Munji. Thank you, Dr. Hari for this insightful discussion, and thank you to our audience for watching this targeted oncology presentation on emerging BCMA-directed CAR T cell therapies in relapse refractory multiple myeloma.